Hi, my name is Manny Granillo and I'm from Hopper Research Games. I'm here at the 2014 Game Developers Conference, uh, here to talk about jet tail fin races for the uh, TA Tegra devices. So let's start by talking about the actual gameplay experience, what people will be able to play. Well, jet tail fin racers is, is just that. It's a fun racing game that's set in underwater environments where you're, you pick your fish, the fastest fish in the sea, and you try to win. And it's just like, uh, imagine Mario Kart uh, meets Finding Nemo. When it comes to this game, talk about the multiplayer options. Well, in the, in the Tega version of multiplayer, you're able to play against other players, up to uh, six to eight players, uh, with your mobile devices and mobile phones and on the shield. What are some of the different characters and different vehicles people will be able to race through? Well, because you're a fish, each we have multiple different fish that are unlocked as you play through the game. Each of the fish, like Jet and, and, his, and her, his friend Anna, and uh, you know, this is a variety of different fish. Each one has different abilities, characteristics, handling, how they move, how they swim through the water, how they maneuver. You know, they have a little f f fast pickup. You got speed pickups. You got friends that come out like octopus and and blowfish and all these other things that kind of help you friends to kind of trying to mess up the other guy's uh, fish. It's, it's really, really fun. Cool family fun. When it comes to Tegra 4, what has that opened up for you as a game developer with this title? Well, one of the things about what we do is that everything we do is real time. We don't do anything that's that's canned or or baked or anything like they say. Everything we do is real time. So when you're moving, the Tegra 4 d uh, technology allows us some real fast uh, building in real time where the experience is building it as you go along as opposed to having it like a lot many other games where they've pre-processed it and it, they're just running a movie back to you. But no, we're, this is actually a real-time experience. When it comes to the shield, how are you guys utilizing that for this game? Well, the shield, because the, the controller just fits your hands so well and we've, uh, we've, uh, we've played the, placed the buttons and controls in such a way that it becomes a natural and instinctual of how you play your game. And that really, really defines and, and separates this experience from your typical mobile device. How have you guys worked with NVIDIA during the development of this title? Well, NVIDIA has been working with us uh, hand, hand in hand uh, in developing this product on multiple levels uh, to help us with uh, technology, help us with tools, uh, assist us in, in, uh, in being able to take advantage of a lot of the special effects that their chips do for us automatically without us having to spend a lot of time doing that. I mean, that's all really critical. Now, this is an underwater aquatic game. What do you feel new technology like Tegra K1 will open up for those types of complex environments? Wow, well, you know, you just, you just said it right there. Open up, underwater, think about it. I mean, uh, the Tegra K1, uh, all of a sudden, you're gonna have even, even more uh, particles and, uh, running around in the, the ocean and just the sea and just the entire the effect, uh, the god light, everything that goes through in that environment. We have it now, but the K1 just takes it to another level. It's just fantastic. It's hard to say.